what if i tell you a state having a breathtaking landscape and vibrant culture is still fighting a battle of its own a battle which is thriving in silence and stigma yes i'm talking about mizoram when we talk about india's hiv burden mizoram has the maximum prevalence of hiv but what if you have the tool to change this notion to change this narrative you have a tool in your own hand yes i'm talking about the hiv self testing this is not just a medical tool but it's a revolution in itself in this video we will be talking about that my name is dalit soni and you are watching in focus by drishti ias so let's begin our discussion over here so in this video we will be talking about the hiv self testing what it is and then we'll be seeing the impact of this particular tool in mizoram okay so first we'll be discussing the outline of the video herein we'll be discussing the news and after that we'll be moving into the other details with respect to the hiv virus we'll be talking about the hiv virus we will also see how hiv is different from aids okay then we'll be coming to the next one national and state level statistics here we'll be talking about some of the data which has been given by a report recently so we'll be talking about that after that we'll be moving to the next one that is what is hiv self testing here we are talking about the self testing at this particular stage we'll be talking about the self testing what are the benefits of it okay after that we'll go to the impacts of the self testing in mizoram and initiatives taken by india with respect to the hiv and aids okay in the end there will be a mcq practice for you so let's start our discussion with the news over here so news is saying a study by pune based indian council of medical research national institute of translation virology and aids research that is n a r i and by the mizoram university has highlighted how hiv self testing has helped many young people in mizoram get tested for the first time that means that that particular testing is uh, uh, having a potential to increase the hiv awareness and testing rates in the mizoram now because of various reason be it the drug be it other reasons uh, the hiv prevalence in mizoram is very high okay so let's talk about that before that i would like to tell you that uh, is uh, gs foundation course is being offered by drishti is that will be there for the integrated preparation of prelims as well as mains it will be in offline mode at our noida uh, sector 15 center it is available in both hindi as well as english medium admissions are open you can directly go to the center and get yourself enrolled or you can call on this number that is 8750187501 8750 now moving further to the hiv what is hiv what is human immunodeficiency uh, virus okay so here you can say hiv attacks and destroy the cd4 cells now when we talk about hiv it is a virus which when it enters the body it will impact the immune system okay it will impact the immune system it will start targeting the t cells okay when we talk about the white blood cells that is basically uh in which you will be having a type that is t cells so this virus will start attacking these t cells there is a particular type that is cd4 cell okay this is the type of your uh, lymphocytes that is your t lymphocytes or t cell okay so here just know that when we talk about this hiv virus it will be impacting the cd4 t cells that is basically your white blood cells okay so it will be targeting the wbc and ultimately it will be targeting your immune system okay so at the initial level you will be able to control this okay this particular uh, you can say uh, the infection can be controlled it cannot you know uh, be treated but it can be controlled but if it is not controlled earlier uh, stages that what will happen is that it will convert into aids okay so that is your aids okay we'll be talking about that anyways let's come to the discussion again so here hiv attacks and destroy the cd4 that is cd4 t lymphocytes of the immune system cd4 cells are a type of white blood cells that play a important role in protecting the body from infection that is basically your immunity okay coming to the next one hiv belongs to the retrovirus family what is retrovirus family over here you can see retrovirus have their instruction written in the ribonucleic acid when we talk about rna when we talk about the genetic material okay genetic material generally you will be seeing that some of the uh, you can say uh, uh, when we talk about the microorganisms they will be having this genetic material which is encoded in dna some will be having it in rna when we are talking about the one which is uh, having the genetic information 
uh, written in the encoded in the RNA that is called as the retrovirus family. Okay, so retrovirus have their instructions written in the ribonucleic acid that is your RNA. When the retrovirus invades the cells, it changes its RNA to look like a cell's instruction. Basically, when we talk about these CD4 type cells, they are having this instruction and they will replicate uh, the virus will replicate itself in such a manner that it will look like it is a DNA. Okay. So, like that you will be seeing that when a retrovirus invades the cell, it changes its RNA to look like a cell's instruction that is your R, sorry, DNA, okay. When we are talking about this particular cell, these are having their instruction encoded in the de deoxyribonucleic acid that is the DNA. Now, this particular virus will replicate itself or you can say it will, you know, uh, present itself in a way that it looks like the DNA. After that, then it cut the cell's DNA and inserts its instructions into them and effectively hijacking the cellular genetic machinery of the body okay so ultimately it will try to encode whatever information they have they will actually encode it into the cells dna and ultimately after that it will start replicating itself in simple words what you can understand over here is that it will get inside the body it is a retro uh, virus uh, when we are talking about the family of this it is from the retrovirus family so it is having rna which is encoded with the genetic information, it will go inside the body and in infect the cell uh, that is CD4 cells, okay. And then they will start to replicate itself, that is what they will be doing. Then there will be a therapy that is antiretroviral therapy. This is a retrovirus, so we will be having an antiretroviral therapy. So here you can say antiretroviral therapy that is ART is the treatment of people infected with the HIV using the anti HIV drugs if left untreated. If you are not going for the, you can say, treatment of this particular uh, HIV infections, if you are leaving it like that, if left untreated, HIV can lead to the disease like AIDS. AIDS is basically acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So, that is your AIDS. Ultimately, HIV is converting into AIDS over here. Now, if you talk about AIDS and HIV, so here you can say AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and when we talk about the uh, HIV that is human immunodeficiency syndrome, HIV AIDS is a medical condition wherein immune system is too weak to fight the infections. Here, this is just an infected body or the infected cell. Now, body has become so weak that it cannot fight any other infection ultimately resulting into multiple infections or multiple body uh, organ failure uh, other than that cancer all these things can happen even a minor injury will be very fatal for the victim over here okay so that is about the hiv and the aids now moving for the national and the state level statistics with respect to the new report which was there okay so hiv uh, scenario in india if we talk about there are 25.44 lakh people who are living with the hiv right now in india highest prevalence is there in mizoram which is having 2.73% of the India's prevalence rate, okay. So, that is there. When we talk about the total cases, 2.73% case, uh, cases are there in Mizoram, which is 13 times the national average, okay. So, that is the prevalence rate in the Mizoram. Coming to the next one, now prevalence rate is different from the infection rate uh, or the number of infections. Now, when we talk about the national average, infection is 13 times uh, more over there in the Mizoram. Now, this data will not be asked in your examination because obviously this is a micro data which is there. But what sh you should know is that the Mizoram is having the maximum number of cases with respect to any other state. Okay, So, that is there. Among all states, Mizoram has the highest prevalence of HIV in the adult population. High risk groups like injecting drugs users, that is uh, when we talk about the uh, infection uh, in the HIV that will be there via your sexual contacts or you know if the bodily fluid is being exchanged like when we are talking about uh, infected needle etc if you are using it so with that you will be having the infection so here injecting drug users and the female sex workers okay so these are at the maximum risk okay other than that if you talk about the other states here you can see the other high burden states are Nagaland, Manipur, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana okay so I hope that is clear now we will be moving to the next part that is what is HIV self-testing. Here we are talking about the self-testing that in the Mizoram we have increased the self-testing. Okay, So, let us see a private and the convenient method where the individual collect their own sample that is blood or saliva using a test kit. Okay, Like you know other self uh, you can say testing kits like pregnancy etc you have that. So, similarly this is a test wherein at your home in your private space you can go for the testing. Okay, When we talk about the HIV there are various stigma, social stigma has been attached. So, this is a positive development in that particular field. So, user 
interpret their results by themselves because they will be having the kit with themselves okay now it is recognized by who in 2016 and implemented in 41 countries india does not yet have national guidelines for the hiv st right now they are not having the national guidelines but they are using it in the mizoram okay benefits of the self testing over here provides a private convenient and the stigma free way to know hiv status can help people who avoid conventional testing due to the social stigma okay so this is about hiv self testing what are the impacts in the mizoram here, here you can see 2101 youth in as ever uh, took the test within the last 6 months okay 84% was first time testers and 85% of those uh, testing positive took the confirmatory test and started the art that means that when they took the test they have realized that they are if they are having the you can say hiv positives though those people has gone for it nearly 85% of the those positive people has gone for the starting of the art that is your anti retroviral therapy okay so that is how you are generating the uh, you can say awareness and that is helping people to get the treatment at the right point of time because if they are untreated hiv will convert into aids and that will be fatal for the patients okay now next is initiative taken by indian government over here so earlier we have adopted a 1990 target for the combating aids but recently the target has been changed that is 95 95 95 so basically what target is that out of those people who has gone for the testing 95% out of those people who are having the you can say hiv okay 95% will be tested okay those who has been you know tested positive 95% will be getting the art okay and then in the Uh, those people who are having the art 95% of those will be having the suppressed inf infection okay so that is basically the target here you can see the target earlier was 90 90 90 and it has been increased to 95 95 90 90 95 out of which 81% people with aids have been identified 88 of being are uh, are being going for the art that is your anti retroviral th therapy and viral load of 97% of the identified people has been suppressed okay so this is what uh, you can say your target is and this is what the present uh, you can say results are now national aids control program which is also there that is there in the phase 5 aims to reduce the annual hiv infection and the aids related uh, mortalities by 80% by 20, 25 26 from the baseline that is 2010 then others are uh, india's hiv and the aids prevalence and control act 2017 and mission sampark initiative from 2017 okay so this is about aids and hiv all the related information self uh, hiv testing kit we have talked about now in the end we are having a question for you that is which part of the immune system does hiv attack red blood cells platelets white blood cells that is cd4 t cells and bone marrow so you can attempt this question and answer to me in the comment box with that i would like to take your leave i'll see you in the next episode till then have a nice day thank you For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications